Okay, the next thing we're going to have a look at here is starting to create an exploded view of our assembly. If you go to the configuration manager, you can add a new configuration. And while you can add an exploded view in the default configuration, it's always better to create a separate exploded configuration to house or hold the exploded view. To do this, just right click the top of the tree and go add configuration. Let's give it a unique name. And click OK. The new configuration is now the active configuration and all the others are grayed out. I'll go back and look at the full exploded view here later. To create a new exploded step, right click and select new exploded view. And you're now placed in the explode view tool where you can give steps a name and you can name these steps and Doing this helps you to sequence the steps and to reorder them if you need to. So we can give it a name and uh, I'll just call this Remove Bottom Screw. It doesn't really matter what you call it, it's some descriptor that makes sense for what you're doing. So now we need to select the components that we're going to take out, and in this case, we're going to take out four screws at the bottom. So these are now added here. Go back to your asymmetric view. You can see here the screws are going to end up. And using the triad here, I'm just going to drag this, in this case, in the Y direction, and just drag the screws down like that, and place them in any position. You can reposition these afterwards if you wish. And click Done. You always click Done after each step, and that adds the first step there like that. So our explode step seems to have lost the, the name there, so let's put it back in again. So that's our first step and the four screws have been taken. step would be to move everything off the base. So I'll give it a name. Now to select the components this time I'm going to go back to my isometric view. And again, using the triad here and the Y direction, I'm just move everything up like that. And once again, click Done to add that step. And that gets added here to this explode step here. You can minimize these that as well there. The next step might be to take out the grub screw for the front flywheel here. So Select the grub screw. Now this grub screw needs to be moved out at an angle other than X, Y, and Z. So for the grub screw, 
we need to right click here on the ball at the intersection of the axis and use the option align with control triad when that aligns the triad with the axis of the growth screw in this case if i drag the x direction we can move the screw out of that come back to the isometric view so we can see it and reposition it so there's our growth screw removed and we just click done on that and that gets added there collapse these steps if you wish so translate from components I want to remove all the front components out so if I look at the top view and I draw a window around them like so I also want to remove the growth screw, so I'm going to add that in at this stage, and that'll also get moved. If you forget to add it in, you can always come back and edit any of these steps. So this time I'll drag in the X direction, and I'll just drag that out there and replace it by I. And click done to apply that. So you continue exploding and adding steps in that way. Um, so I'm going to click OK. If you go to your exploded view now, and you double click on it, you can toggle between the collapsed state and the exploded state. And these are your steps. And again, you can click on those reposition them at any stage if you wish.